Thank you for joining today's video. Uh, today's video is going to be a more of a, a case study and just documenting a journey of a website we previously built as a bit of an experiment. Um, we used lovable.dev to create um, a landing page, a holding page um, for a website. Number one, to see how we could build a, a, a website with AI and secondly, to see how well it would rank. Um, so that was about about three months or so ago. So um, so the website is for hiring private jets from London. So these prompts by are by no means like very well engineered. This was sort of just done something on the hop. Um, we created the optimized content with Surfer SEO, and we fed this into lovable when creating the landing page so you can see here the initial um, the initial prompt i would like to create a landing page to rank on google and sell the sell the leads the pro, uh, the business is for private jet hire either to or from london and then i've given it a bit of a small direction for um, how to create the header i haven't given it all the content to use to begin with um, so it's gone through the process of creating the color scheme um, and making notes of the requirements. And then I fed in um, some images from Unsplash or Pexels, just free images. And then I've given it the optimized content from Surfer SEO. So we needed um, the private jet destinations, New York, Dubai, Las Vegas. And then we gave them these five images of those locations. So I did it section by section rather than giving it instructions for the whole page and um so this is how it came out on lovable um yeah so i'll show you the actual website so here's the actual website we came back with not so bad the fact that it, it did it in um a few minutes i'm sure if i spent more time on it um i could improve it but it's just more of an experiment so uh, yeah, so we posted that up. Um, so that was about four months ago, and then we got the the Google rankings here. Um, so it hasn't really done too much. Um, it's had peak and peaks and troughs, as and when there's been a Google update come out, and it's only a one page website, so there isn't a whole bunch of content. It's mainly just private jet London on there. So um, right now, what? I've done is I've spent about a day or so, probably not a day, probably like eight hours, and just rebuilding the website um, on WordPress because I just wanted to expand the website for the services, and I'm just more familiar with that and have more control over that, and I wanted to get more search impressions, see if we would get more search impressions if we built um, the sitemap out. So this is the website I've built using um, WordPress. Uh, so it's uh, kind of similar. We can go down the page a little bit and see how similar it is. We've got the locations there. So it looks, um, so we've used more images and we changed the color scheme um, a bit. And um, the main thing is what we've done is we've expanded the sitemap. So instead of it just being a one page website, we've got flights to internal locations. So we've got here Edinburgh and Manchester, then we've got international locations. So each location now has its own page, which we hope will get picked up on um, search engines. We canceled our subscription to Surfer SEO for the time being. Um, I'll do another video on that. I just used uh, ChatGPT to write out this content. Really, I'm just going to go out. I call this a fishing expedition. Just going to um, put this on the live domain name and see if it gets any traction. Um, if something bites, then we'll look to improve it over time. So we've got the locations, location pages, created an FAQ. We just had a quick search on Google to see what um, the questions were, what, what Google was suggesting um, the questions were on Google. Uh, yep, so we've got that travel. Plan for this to be a blog, so we'll fill this out with a blog up an about page. So all the key pages which make up a website to make it look like um, a real business. 
fill in the contact page. Need to improve that contact form. But yeah, so that's um, so that's what we've done. Um, that's what we did on Lovable, and this is how we've changed it to WordPress. And now we're going to see um, how well it does on search engines. So thanks for watching. If you've got any questions about um, AI, how you can use AI with maybe Elementor, WP Baker in Word, and your WordPress website, or questions about Lovable, then drop me a message in the comments below. And I'd really appreciate it if you uh, subscribe to the channel for our daily videos. Speak to you soon.